Hi everybody. In today's video I'm going to show you my new Python building creator that I created this week called buildingcreator.py. In the very first demo I'm going to show you, I'm going to make it the simplest of simple. One floor and one segment per side. There's always four sides to a building in this. And we're going to go ahead and say create building. There's not going to be any self-illumination or lights. And the first thing it does is prompt me for the building texture. And for this, I've got this light wood texture I'm going to use. Next, it's going to prompt me for the glass for the window, which I am going to use. I have this transparent image right there somewhere. There it is. And it's basically the, it's a transparent image, so it's going to be the no window window. And then for the sidewalk, I'm going to use the sand texture that I have. And then finally, it'll be the roof texture. And for that, I'm going to use that light wood again. And this won't take very long because it's such a small room. Okay. So this is our very first building. It's a little shack. But notice the because the windows were hidden, they're transparent. So you can you know come inside. It's a real little prop. I mean I built this to be a background scenery creator, but I mean that is a real prop. You might want to expand the ground if you want to do. The sidewalk does get bigger based on the number of scenes and so does the roof. So we're going to go ahead and create another one. I was just trying to show you some of what's possible with this. Your imagination is probably better than mine. Mine has some flaws for sure. I'm going to go ahead and run this again. This time I'm going to do two floors and it never has to be symmetrical but it's going to be in this case again. It's going to be two wall segments per side and again there won't be any lights or self illumination and create building. And this time we're going to create an old-timey jail. So I'm going to create, I've got this little stone wall small. Say that ten times fast. And for the window, I created this jail window in about 30 seconds and I cloned it earlier today. That was just a picture. <clears throat> Excuse me, it's not a prop. And next, I'm going to select the, the um, sidewalk for this is going to be just a ground texture, which I have right here. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then finally, the last thing is going to be uh, the roof. And the roof for, our, I'll just use this, uh, oh, one of these asphalts let's see sorry I went too far there we go okay so give that just a second to finish now notice kind of like the last one because the the window was semi-transparent everything but the appears to be a cylinder it's really just a flat image but now we're in the we're inside of the jail and I don't have my get out of jail free card but it is our and you can go up to the second floor in case you're one of the really bad prisoners and you're not going anywhere anytime soon and again, my one flaw here is I don't have any doors. And I admit it, if you need a door, I'll start making it a priority. But that's the, so far it's the, this started as a background scenery creator. But it, after I built it, I realized it's kind of cool. Or at least I think it is. Because for me, it takes a long time to build a lot of stuff in iClone. Okay, and we're going to move on to show you another two examples. And that'll be it. This one's going to be, sorry, I'll do a little mid-rise, kind of a 4x4, four four. and we're going to use a little bit of building self-illumination, tiny bit of window, and I'm going to turn the lights on for the windows a little bit. And we're, we're going to use random lighting, which means a certain percentage of the lights will be on. 
No, I'll go with about, I don't know, 35 or a third, somewhere in there. And we'll create the uh, building. Okay, the first prompt is for the building texture. And that is going to be this kind of white brick that I have right here. And then next would be the window texture, which I am going to use this right here. It's kind of, it's not lit up too bright. I could have made that a little brighter, but we're going to use that. And then we don't need that open. And next I'm going to go to, for the sidewalk, I'm just going to use one of my concrete whites here. And then finally the roof texture. Um, I'll use this asphalt right there. And it's going to prompt me for one more texture once the floors are created. And this is for the lights off texture. So we're just going to basically use the same image, but it'll be this version, the lights off version. So that when it turns off, 70% of the lights still get replaced with that. So that way you get a few of the lights have this and then another, you know, the majority, or I guess that's 70% or whatever we chose. This is my, I want a new computer for things like this. Okay, it's done. All right, so let me back out and you can see that it turned off, uh, you know, a good majority of the lights are turned off. It left some on, it's kind of random. So there's a little less on some sites than other. But that's basically, you get the idea. And the sidewalk does get bigger based on the number of segments. It's kind of proportional. So I was kind of, amazed that through trial and error I was able to figure this out but trial and error is one of those underrated skills that'd be the name of my book probably all right so next we're going to go ahead and show you one more and we'll call this a video and for this I'm going to build kind of a high rise or be eight floors or something probably do six to make it go a little faster and I'll go five five wall segments per side so that'll make it a little bit and for this texture I'm going to crank it up because I've used that before and yes we'll probably make it about that much and we're going to go ahead and create our building and for my wall texture I've got this I called it black image but it's actually got some speckles but there it is and I'll show you the speckles here in a second. And for the window, for this, I'll show you the window we're going to use. There it is. We're going to use this one. And then for the sidewalk, I'll use one of our concretes again. Oh, I'll use that one. And then finally, for the roof, I am going to, I'll just use that. And give this a second. I'm not sure that's the best looking window, but that was something I created just kind of quickly before this video. Now I need the off version of the window, which I happen to have. Go to window, there it is, window to off. Yeah, I'll go with. I think that one actually looks better. I think we'll just go with that. Okay. All right. So now it's randomly turning some lights turned off. So I still haven't fixed that. It's on my list, but things that compile are lower on priority than they should be, probably.
and the more floors and wall segments you know kind of this times this you have the longer it takes because it's got to clone each one and apply the well the texture is part of what makes the cloning take longer but the whole idea behind this is I would like to start working towards creating things to be button clicks okay there we go our building let's back up so you can see our building a little better so that's our uh, little kind of a mid-rise little building well, let me know what you think you think it's kind of neat to be able to create buildings on the fly and would you like me to work kind of further in the direction of uh, automating scene creation because that's what I would like to kind of work towards because I feel like at least for me it takes me a really long time I have an idea for a scene and I can either spend a bunch of money and, and buy props if there's something created but a lot of times there's not or to create a world you know the internal world you kind of have to create yourself if you want a certain look but for out for external you know I think this would be really fast to help you build you know I don't know 10 or 12 buildings to just to kind of build out a you know city or at least a few blocks of a city let me know if you have any you know, avenues you want me to explore or video ideas. Thanks for watching.